Hey YouTube, I'm coming to you with the candy apple video. Please disregard the noise in my background because my living room is right next to the kitchen. So I'm not going to talk that long, I'm just going to get started. Uh, the things I have for my candy apples is the corn syrup and I'm going to use a half a cup of this corn syrup. And as you can see, I have my half a cup. Then I have three cups of white sugar. Three cups of white sugar and then I have one cup of water in here. And then my ingredients, I'm going to do the white candy apple. And I'm doing this for a baby shower. I have my flavoring to put in my mix. I have my candy thermometer. And then I have my gel color for the fondant I'm going to do. And um, I took the easy way out because I don't feel like making a fondant from scratch. So I just brought some already made fondant and I'm going to color it with some gel paste colors for the my desired color. It's up to you how you want to do it. And this was just some extra gel. And I might take this one back because there's no need because I found a better pink one. So I already put my sugar and water in here. Now I'm going to put my flavor and my white in here. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I'm back. So I have my sugar, I have my uh, apple flavor, and I have my syrup in the pot. And I just stirred it up like so. And now I'm going to drop in seven to eight drops of a uh, white gel paste. It's up to you how much you want to put in there. If you want to put the whole bottle, I'm going to try it out and see how much I want to put. First, we have to open it, right? I thought it was open. And then once I put the drops in here, I'm going to stir it around again. Then I'm going to put my candy thermometer in there. And I'm going to put it on the stove for it to start bubbling and cooking. And when you place your candy thermometer in there, you don't want to put it all the way down to the pot. Because it will be heating over the amount. You just put it in there so it can heat the candy. So I'll be back with you in just a moment. Okay, YouTube, I'm back. I have to switch pots because the candy thermometer... It's not fitting on the pot that I had the first time. So, if you can see, I don't have it touching the bottom of the pot. It's just a little bit above the pot. don't need to be at the bottom. So, now, I'm going to put my, pour it in there. I'm going to pour the uh, mixture into the pot. And then we're going to wait for the candy thermometer to reach hard hard crack at 300 so let's put that and I have my stove between 6 and 7 and once you put this in here do not stir it I'm going to stir it for right now so I can get everything out of the pot so I'll be back with you in a moment okay YouTube I'm back I'm just, I'm just going to go back over everything I did so far because I feel like I didn't explain myself. So, over here, we have fondant, just white vanilla fondant. And I'm going to create the, I'm making candy apple baby, baby bottoms. So, I'm going to, and I'll cheat it because I don't feel like making it from scratch. So, I'm just going to use this. And I, it's Wilton, brought it from Walmart, like a dollar and some change. Um, and I'm going to change the color to how I'm going to do the skirt and the legs. I have gel food paste coloring of your choice. Whichever one you choose, it doesn't matter as long as it's gel paste for your colors, wherever you're going to use. I have white 
liquid food coloring by Laura and oils uh, this is what I'm gonna have the candy apple base to be which is like the baby's diaper I have the color pink a very light pink for the blanket and then I have the chocolate color too that's why I have this one for to create the legs you would need a half a cup of syrup of carol syrup you will need three cups of white sugar and one cup of water and a pot you also need flavoring of your choice and only use a clear flavor I have an apple flavor because I couldn't find pineapple or coconut or cotton candy so I got this from Hoppy Lobby you can get it from whatever store that sells these and what else oh then a candy thermometer you would need that you also need a pan and you need parchment paper and then you need to spray your parchment paper with a uh, non-sticking oil whatever one you have it doesn't matter no particular one me I have Pam so now after I have told you all the ingredients I use now I have my mixture on the stove between six and seven I don't know if you can see that between six and seven and I have it just boiling my thermo my thermometer is not touching the bottom of my pot I have it in a slant angle because um, it's so tall it's not short it's not short so we're just waiting for this to bubble and I also put my white mixture in there too because you don't want to do that last so you just let this bubble up until it gets to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and do not stir. So we're going to come back once this starts bubbling and we'll go from there. Thank you. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. Just coming on here with an update on how the bubbling of the candy mixture is going. And as you can see, it's bubbling up. Oven still stove still set between six and seven and right about now my temperature is at 250 degrees at softball so it's making its way up to the soft crack you can't really see my thermometer but and another way you can check to see if your candy ready you can just take some out and drop it in some cold cold water and if it becomes hard that means it will be ready I don't know if you saw that but see it's not because see it's soft it's still soft so we wanted to get it hard hard so that's just an update so we'll just keep waiting and watching all right I'm back Coming to you with the fondant part. My candy is still bubbling. Right now it's at softball 250. So it's making its way up there. So I'm not gonna just wait on it because this is taking some time now. So I got my fondant out and I'm gonna start with my pink gel and I'm gonna put one dot 